Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to the Let's Talk Live Variety Show. I'm your host, Andy Asher, and we have a really, really great show lined up today. What really got my attention is something the Bank of America, it just reported this, some very shocking results about the huge wealth discrepancies. That's right, between baby boomers and millennials. Now, I will get to that in just a moment. We also are going to talk more with Christopher Chizakos. Now, he writes about how the increased amount of his testosterone in his body that had life-changing effects beyond muscle and sexual drive. Here's this guy who's 63, who is, who is amazingly fit with six-pack abs, who discovered the low testosterone, and he was an irritable, grumpy guy until he found out why. Testosterone is not only about building muscle, going to the gym, looking like, you know, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Testosterone will change your life. More from Christopher in just a moment. Now, in our regular newsstand segment, you know, I am going to dig deeper into the topic that I love, but I also is it's part of what I'm doing with Mimi in the kitchen. Hey, I forgot to tell you something. You know, the, the one I made with the, the smoothie I made with the pineapple and mango, because it has a creaminess about it, like ice cream. So what I do when I have leftovers, I just put them, you know, I make some popsicle with it. And uh, when you have a sweet tooth, you just pop in and have one and enjoy it. That's all I wanted to say. Have a good, have a good weekend. Bye. Thank you, Mimi. It looks absolutely fantastic. So let me get back to that Bank of America report that I told you about. Now the report, older Americans are splurging on travel, dining out, spending more on housing and basics in an unusual and in a growing generational gap between them and millennials. Now we are talking a big difference here. Their data reflects a widening split in spending habits between working age adults and retirees. Baby boomers, roughly ages 59 to 77, and traditionalists ages 78 to 95, in every income group are outspending their younger counterparts. Now many of those gains were concentrated in leisure spending, such as travel and hotels. What totally grabbed my attention, there are some huge wealth discrepancies between baby boomers and millennials. Now it reported that boomers, roughly $73 trillion in wealth at the end of last year, eight times as much as millennials. That according to Federal Reserve data. Now that translates to an average net worth of 1.7 million for a baby boomer household compared to with 214,000 for millennials. That sure got my attention. So let's get back to the newsstand. AI hey, have always loved newsstands. They go back, you know, so far in our American history and many are disappearing. The go-to newsstand where I live is Barnes & Noble. You know, I could spend an entire afternoon just leafing through magazines. Lately, I keep going back to the food section on the magazine department, which is, you know, fitting since both Mimi and I have been binging on smoothies. And that's where we are going today. Hey, Mimi. Hi again. Today it's going to be also something with pineapple. You need five ingredients and they're all fabulous tropical fruits. So you have pineapple, two cups and two cups of mango. Get the frozen one because they, they get very, uh, they, get, they get nice in this uh, smoothie. You will need also half a cup of uh, Greek yogurt, just plain, and uh, one and a half cup of almond milks, milk, sorry, and then some cinnamon, which gives this um, a smoothie a very, very, very nice taste and very tropical and nice. Okay, so let's do it. We do the, the you, we put the frozen thing first, and you got the pineapple. No, no, get back here. We have to put it here. Oh, I hope it's gonna, yeah, I think it's too, too small for it, but let's try. With the milk, well, it's gonna be good. All right, and 
the yogurt. So all those um, smoothies are actually healthy with natural sugar. So you don't have to worry about it. If uh, you want to, you, you don't want to have a lunch or uh, like a big breakfast. This is very, very good alternative. Excuse me, I'm going to wash my hands. There we go. And then you put like one teaspoon of cinnamon. And if you like cinnamon like I do, you can put a lot of it. There you go. It's a natural sweetener. Very good. And then we're going to start doing this. Perfecto. Mm, all right. So this. All righty. Hmm. Oh, so this um, this quantity of fruit that I put here, it's for two smoothies, okay, for two people. All right. Mmm, looks so good. There you go. Oh, nice. Check this out. Check this out. You try. You can put like a little. Uh, A little one of this. I like that. I, li I like those flavors like cinnamon and uh, mm, it's like ice cream. It's so good. Oh my god, it's very tropical. Cheers again. Thanks, Vini. That is so perfect as the weather heats up. Now, on Wednesday, I introduced you to Christopher Terzakos, who wrote a book entitled how I naturally increased my testosterone with seven simple, powerful methods. A highly effective program, it said, with life-changing benefits beyond muscle gain, strength, and sexual drive. What got my attention is how he went from a super low testosterone level to an increase that changed his life. I asked him about all those myths about how bad it is to have too much testosterone. You know how the, the myths are, it's all about uh, uh, what comes to mind is, you know, the macho man, aggressive, impatient type, type A behavior, road rage and all that. It's associated with testosterone levels. Uh, you know, that must pass through your mind or people must think about that when you talk to them about it. Absolutely. See, that you're right. I mean, that's a great, great question. And Testosterone is not only about building muscle, going to the gym, looking like, you know, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Testosterone will change your life. Testosterone will, in listen, low testosterone, you're, you're moody, no energy, you don't feel like doing anything, you're not a good father, can't be a good father, because your hormones are out, out of balance. So with this, with testosterone, you're, you're always smiling, you're happy, uh, life is good, you're a good dad, you're a good husband, you know, you're, you're patient. Um, so you need, you need to, every man needs testosterone, every man. You know, I walk around and then I, I see people, I see nice men and I see men with their heads down, don't smile. And I, I, right away, I think, I wonder if he got his hormones checked. Because he would probably be a great person if he got his hormones balanced. That's fascinating. So what ages are we talking about? Uh, because uh, we do know, uh, at least I guess this is, this is what science talks to us about, is as we get older, there's an effect on testosterone or something or libido and then you know when you're younger you, the, we hear the testosterone is through the roof uh, but you know looking at the, the the guy the older guys like me I mean what, what's kind of what's going on with all that okay so <clears throat> another good question so I got a lot of questions for you by the way <laughs> oh, don't worry about it we're, we're gonna be together then yes. okay we're gonna be okay so that's a great question Testosterone starts to decline in your early 30s. So it declines 
I'm going to say about one to two two percent a year. It starts declining the testosterone. Now, I get it. The young kids they go to college, they get an education. Now they got to go to work. They got a big debt over their head if their parents didn't pay for the college. They got a big debt over their head trying to live in an apartment. You know. I, that's amazing. I, you know, I, I interrupted myself a, a moment ago because I was talking about men, but just, you know, to prepare to talk to you, I, I, I saw in one of the publications that, that women have to, testosterone as well. True. Or, you know, they, and I, I, it probably isn't something that uh, you guys dwell on when you do this research, but I just thought I'd bring that out as kind of an interesting point. Yeah, yeah, women do have testosterone, but they don't need the testosterone that the males do, that the men do. They, they, they don't they don't need it. They have their own estrogen. They got their own hormone uh, situations going on. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that. But anyway, uh, so you OK. So anyway, we, we I kind of left off where you made this discovery about yourself and uh, then you decided that you wanted to you not do the TRT and instead do it on your own. So. Uh, maybe you can pick it up from there. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> I started, I did my research. I, I, I got all the supplements that I, I needed to do. Uh, I set up, you know, at that time, COVID-19. So all the gyms were closed. You can't exercise. I've been exercising for 40 years. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm 63 years old. I, um, I look like a 30 year old. My body's in great shape. Yeah, head up. You look great, man. Yep. Oh, well, thank you. Well, you can't see my body, but I have a six pack. Oh, you know? gosh. Yeah, yep. I'll, I'll never give up exercise. So, my program that I wrote about in my book, uh, I'll talk about some of the items because I like some people to actually to, you know, buy my book and look at my book. Yeah. Uh, I, I know that it'll be beneficial to, to, to not only to, a, to the man, uh, It'll help their families too because once your hormones are balanced, everything else is uh, is just smooth. Your know, life becomes so so level. You know, nothing bothers you most of the time. We'll wind up our talk with Christopher on Monday with a couple of final comments. I want to thank you so much for supporting the show. Now, if you liked it or you learned something new. I want to tell you three ways that you can support the show and keep the Let's Talk Variety Show going on. And number one, you know, just get yourself subscribed. Every show I am bringing inspirational guests who can teach or have something interesting to share. So just take a moment to hit that subscribe button. And then number two, this is really the ultimate way to support uh, the Let's Talk Variety Show. And it really takes less than a minute you can write something short and sweet like you know i love the show uh it's changed your life or something that you learned from it you know i am not exaggerating that i i read reviews every single day and every single one whether it's short or long it means everything to me and the more reviews means the higher we rank in all those algorithms which means bigger guests so take a minute to leave a review and three, just share the show with your friends. Just, you know, just hit that uh, share button. We live stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I am eternally grateful. Thank you so much for supporting the Let's Talk Variety Show about productivity, positivity, and happiness.